Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So as I said last week, I'm going to have part two of the GoPro conclusion and video for it. Really short conclusion. I think it's great value for money. It doesn't do all the things the DJI does. But what it does, to me, it does very well. I know other people are going to say they've had problems, but I can only go by what i found. And the camera gimbal and the gimbal stick work fantastic for what I wanted it for. The drone flies really, really well and I get good footage. For me, it was a good deal, a really good deal, because I've got two things in one, if you like. The controller feels fantastic in your hand. I thought the sticks might be a bit toy -y, but the resolution feels great. It does exactly what you want it to do in the sky. It's very, very smooth and stable. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's not designed to be. It's not a sport flyer, it's a drone to get video footage. You'll see the video footage is coming up, I think it looks great. I think it's like I said in the other video, it looks better in 2.7 than it does when you film in 4K. But that's just my opinion. People, other people have seen the video footage out of this in 4K and I think it was fantastic. But for me, I prefer the 2.7K footage I've got out of it. So for what I paid for this drone, I've got this and the drone. It's almost like I've got two in one and I've paid like 250 quid each for both. Which I'm more than happy with, like I said. Flight time was really good. I probably got about just, well, I don't know, I didn't time it properly, but I'd say about 20 minutes on both flights I've done with this recently and had 20 odd percent left in the battery when I come down. Maybe slightly less than that. But absolutely no issues with the drone. I've had six or seven flights with this now and I have had no issues. It flies absolutely perfectly. Return to home is accurate. It's not as accurate as the DJI because it doesn't have all the, it hasn't got any sensors on the bottom of it. The whole thing you'll see on the video, I was actually surprised with because there's nothing on this by GPS. Now why I think it hovers so well, in my opinion, is the weight. The weight is holding it in. It's a, it's a very heavy drone. It's not getting blown around by a slight breeze, this thing. It's massive. So I think that's why it hovers so well. And it does hover well. You can see in the video, it isn't drifting all over the place. It locked, when you first start hovering, I think it lost it about a foot in height. You just bring it back to, up to the height again and it stays exactly where it is. So... I highly recommend this. I'm not saying go rush out and buy one, but I'm saying if you tend, if you after a drone and you're after something that does does fl flight footage and flight footage alone, and you want something where you can take the camera off, the camera off and have a handheld gimbal, I think it's absolutely amazing. So thanks ever so much for watching. Enjoy the video. It's coming up and have a fantastic day. So this is a flight test of the camera. At the beginning of this video. I'm showing you hovering, but I'm trying to also show you how clear the screen looks even in bright sunlight because you can see it really, really well. I've gone into a couple of modes and you can see what it says on the screen quite clearly even on the video. So hence why there's a bit of messing around at the beginning. So enjoy the video and I apologise in advance for the cheesy ending. Thanks very much. Bye bye.